Well, hello YouTube and welcome to the Woodstacks. Uh, today we're going to resolve an issue. The whole point of this video is to talk about trapping woodchucks, groundhogs, whatever you call them, and uh, and and taking care of the issue. Um, so we are going to be using a Kana bear trap to do our work for us. I'm going to kind of talk about how I go about doing this and uh, my method. Uh, if we look right down here, you can see that this is, right in here is where they're coming in. I always put my firewood stacks on top of boards just to try and keep the dirt out of it. But what they do is they burrow down in that opening uh, and they'll fill this whole vat full of sand. Um, Makes it hard to sell firewood. Uh, it dirties up the firewood. Uh, quite frankly, if, if woodchuck is here, it's gonna eventually get up near my buildings. Uh, it's gonna cause havoc, get in the garden, what have you. So we're gonna resolve this issue. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around, kind of talk about how I set the trap and some tips and tricks. Then we're gonna come out in the morning and uh, see what has happened. Uh, one or two things is going to happen. Uh, the trap will trip on it, killing it on the spot. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. Um, or the second one is it will catch the snout of the woodchuck or possibly a paw, arm, whatever they call it. Um, but in both those situations, in the latter situation, if the trap catches the, the snout or an arm, I will have to use a farm tool to kind of finish off this deal. Um, won't display that on the YouTube, but uh, that would be the option. So let's flip you around and show you what we have here. So in this situation, I have some sticks of firewood uh, that we use for our roadside sales. And, and the woodchuck keeps moving it all around. And I'll rearrange it. They move it around. Uh, you can see they've knocked some stuff over there. They might actually be going into that other side as well but we're gonna focus here. So show you what I have here. This is your simple kind of bear trap. It pretty much does the job. Uh, you don't have to wait around, you don't have to bait it. I'm gonna fill up that opening right there with this trap and that should do the trick. Uh, to set it, you have to squeeze this right here in my left hand and then I have to set this piece into that and then these little fingers here is what the animal will uh, trigger if you will there's some mosquitoes out here so let's give this a squeeze kind of loosens everything up we squeeze that now we got to kind of jostle that around a little bit And then you can see that there's a couple different notches there. So you have to slowly release that. And you can see those are pretty rounded there. So you really got to be careful as you're releasing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my right hand here. And uh, I'm going to slowly release. But I've got pressure on my right hand. And so you can see there's a little bit of wiggle there with those little tabs. But that guy will come along and he'll hit that thing and it will just snap. So we're going to set that right in the hole. Something like that. And you got a chain that comes off of it. Real important that you set that chain. And I've just got an old piece of iron here. This is actually one of those hanging planter things. And I'm just going to... I'm gonna anchor that because if this guy gets his paw s stuck in it, he's gonna to wanna to take off. And, uh, and we don't want that. We wanna make sure that the what happens happens and it's a done deal. Um, and so I will probably just come back here. Um, sometimes we'll use a milk crate over the top of everything. Uh, and what that will do I will put a milk crate over the top. 
Uh, mostly what that will do is that will keep um, keep my wife's cat from getting in there. Uh, that probably shouldn't be an issue, but you know, uh, if my wife's cat gets in there, um, uh, I might as well be in that trap as well. So we're gonna leave that and we will come back in the morning and check things out. Now, before heading in, I should note that uh, this woodchuck, it might be out and about. Uh, a lot of times they do have a second hole. Um, and so this is definitely not a surefire method. Uh, if things are jostled around, it may have tried to got, get its way back in. It may trip it. Uh, this is not a one-time cure-all, uh, but it's a method. And so we'll check things out in the morning. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. It is uh, mid-afternoon, three, four o'clock uh, the following day when we set the trap. It was evening. I came out this morning, nothing, uh, and came out just a few minutes ago. And sure enough, uh, let's take a look. So here we are. Uh, we are going to unpeel this trap. And like I said, I have that milk crate there just to keep the missus's cat from getting in. And what you see there is a very young woodchuck. Pull you back a little bit. It's a very young woodchuck. Um, chain's important, but uh, it's um, and so that's it. It's a very small woodchuck. Uh, a big one would not have fit into that. Big one would have destroyed the whole entire hill. And so that took care of the deal. I will probably. So that's how I do this. Uh, I take care of these issues. Um, I trap these woodchucks. Uh, I don't know where they come from. <laughs> they usually like softer soil. They don't like to dig into the clay. Um, and they just travel. Once they're born, they have to kind of wander over uh, and create their own home, uh, so to speak, right? And so uh, my wood stacks is a pretty nice spot. Right where I stack my wood is a pretty sandy spot, so it's easy digging. Um, like I said, pretty young woodchuck. I will probably just go ahead and reset this trap. I will bury this little guy uh, near my compost pile. And uh, I find no pleasure in this. Uh, I find no pleasure in um, trapping, uh, removing God's creatures but it, it, is, it is part of property management. And this is just how I do it. Uh, and, and so I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm, I'm sure some people will hate on this, uh, but it's all part of my life here, right? Uh, you know, if, if we want to heat with wood, I need to kind of protect it. I don't, I don't want to be covered in sand. Um, I don't need to have dens and dens and dens of woodchucks because sooner or later they will creep up near my property, start burrowing under my barn, possibly the home, um, and, uh, and that could get costly quickly. So uh, there's my little justification for it, but like I said, um, it's part of owning property. So I'm all bury this little guy, probably reset the trap, just do a, a rinse and repeat here. Uh, I would like to say before I leave that if you're going to, uh, if you're going to set traps, um, know where they're at. Make sure you take care of your your, your issue here. And uh, so, uh, once again, hope this is helpful. Thanks for joining me, and you guys have a great day. Bye now.